okay hello friends today we are going to discuss the problems on rankine cycle so see this is very important point as the exam point of view that today we are going to discuss because there will be one definitely pr problem on rankine cycle and see if you see the exam pattern there will be not not much variations in the problems so today i will discuss the steps in the problems based on the rankine cycle and if you prepare that much only then you can solve the n number of types of the problems on based on this topic so see whenever the problem is asked on the based on the cycles then first step that you have to do that is you have to draw the cycle first that may be auto cycle diesel cycle dual cycle or rankine cycle then you have to draw that the cycle so generally we prefer the rankine cycle on ts plot so temperature versus entropy plot based on that you have to draw that rankine cycle so we will have the steam dome that is saturated vapor line saturated liquid line and the critical point based on that steam dome is drawn and let us see that let us uh, let us consider that the rankine cycle is starting at point 1 where you are feeding the water to the boiler so to feed the water to the boiler you have to increase its pressure and that pressure is increase in the pump so feed pump we will have and the process 1 to 2 will be there which is taking place in the feed pump and that process is considered as isentropic process so isentropic means what entropy will constant so that is a vertical line <coughs> and pressure is increase from condenser pressure to the boiler pressure so that is 1 to 2 isentropic we can consider now next process is occurring in the boiler so at point 2 you have feed the water to the boiler which is at higher pressure and from this point we will have the next process that is heat addition that heat addition process is taking place at constant pressure and we will have that 2 to 3 as a heat addition in the boiler now see what quality of the steam is coming out of the boiler depending upon that point 3 will be there so if you are getting the dry saturated steam from the boiler then point 3 will be on saturated vapor line now if you are getting the wet steam then that point will be 3 dash and if it is a superheated steam then that point will be 3 double dash so based on what quality of the steam you are getting from the boiler the point 3 will be having the three possibilities so here that three point you can show like this now the next process is occurring in the turbine and that is expansion process now this expansion is occurring isentropically again and that is occurring in the turbine so isentropic process means that will be a vertical line so you can draw that vertical line that is 3 to 4 isentropic process which is taking place in the turbine so 3 to 4 you can draw like this and then after that the steam goes to the condenser and in condenser you will have the condensation process which is occurring at constant pressure and that you can show from 4 to 1 so likewise the cycle is completed okay so for 3 dash point that 4 dash point will be somewhere here for 3 double dash the point may be somewhere here so based on that possibilities that what quality of the steam is coming out of the boiler there will be 3 and point 4 is shifting now see when you see that number of problems based on the rankine cycle which are coming in the examination there is one pattern what is that you have to understand that pattern so what is that pattern now in the university examination papers the three values are given so what are those three values are given so the first thing that is given that is boiler pressure okay that is a boiler pressure so generally this three values are given so majority you can see that problem based on this are giving you the boiler pressure the number one quantity 
so you can say that that boiler pressure is p1 and second is there that is condenser pressure so second condition is given that is condenser pressure so we can say that that is p2 that is p2 condenser pressure p2 so you can write it here that is p2 so this is the second value is given and the third thing that is given what is that that the condition of the steam after the boiler that is where that three point will lie that is also mentioned generally in the problem so the third thing given is the condition of the steam condition of the steam which is coming out of the boiler or you can say that in this case it is at point 3 okay so that condition may be you can say dry saturated okay so dry saturated means what that is point 3 it may be wet steam okay wet steam that is point 3 dash in this case the values of x is given that is the dryness fraction value of the uh, dryness fraction is given okay so this out of this the one condition given or the third condition may be superheated steam superheated steam okay so that is point 3 double dash and in this case what is given that is temperature of point 3 double dash so these values may be given so see what are the common parameters given in the problem that is boiler pressure second is condenser pressure third may be the what conditions are there for the steam at point 3 it may be dry saturated then point will be 3 if it is wet steam then that point will be 3 dash and the dry inspection of this is given and the third possibility is that the steam may be superheated in that case the temperature of 3 double dash point will be given so out of these three conditions one condition may be given so this is the only three parameters that will be given in the problem so there is no much complications that lot of data is not given just three parameters are given to you so you should be clear about this okay okay now let us see what is asked let us see that what is asked so what you have to find out let us see that so see you how to find out you have to find out the parameters which are again common in all examples so these are repeating continuously repeating so that's why i'm saying that these are common parameters so what is that the first is turbine work maybe turbine work so how you are going to denote it it can be denoted by wt okay and how will you calculate it turbine work so see after after we can say that unit number four the work transfer or heat transfer can be measured in terms of the enthalpy so we are measuring it in terms of the main enthalpy changes so that can be written as mass of steam into where that turbine is work is taking place that is three to four so we can have that h3 minus h4 okay so in unit number four five six wherever there is work calculation part or heat transfer calculation part we will consider it directly as an enthalpy change okay so here the turbine work is can be calculated based on this relation then next point that may be asked that is network so let us see that network so what is network w net we can write as turbine work minus pump work we can write it as turbine work minus pump work okay so you can write this relation as 
turbine work is written like this that is h3 minus h4 and pump work you can write from this diagram again pump work is taking place 1 to 2 so you can write it as h2 minus h1 okay so this is as this can be written as this can be called as the network then we will have the third quantity that is generally asked what is that the heat supplied okay let us see that heat supplied okay so you are supplying the heat in which component the heat is supplied in the boiler so that process is 2 to 3 so what we can write it as ms h3 minus h2 h3 minus h2 so you can calculate heat supplied qs like this okay so that is third quantity that is asked then fourth quantity is there what is that that is nothing but and it is very important it will be definitely asked if the rankine cycle problem is come then that is rankine efficiency rankine efficiency so you can write it as rankine efficiency is nothing but network divided by heat supply so network divided by heat supply and that you can write that you can write as that you can write as how will you write it h3 minus h4 minus h2 plus h1 divided by h3 minus h2 so this is a rank kind efficiency and see out of these four parameters the most important is rank kind efficiency that is asked in every question paper when the rank kind cycle problem is asked so you have to remember this so this is fourth parameter that is that may be asked then fifth parameter is there what is that fifth parameter is there that is work ratio work ratio okay what is work ratio work ratio is nothing but w net divided by turbine work so w net your return that is h3 minus h4 minus h2 plus h1 divided by turbine work what is turbine work that is h3 minus h4 here in this case the mass gets cancelled so i am not writing that so it is again in terms of work ratio then six quantities there six quantities there what is that that is specific 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 steam consumption specific steam consumptions and that can be written as yes yes c specific steam consumption that is nothing but yes yes c specific steam consumption so you can write the formula for that as ms divided by the turbine work ms divided by the sorry network not turbine work it is ms divided by network so you can write c ms divided by mass of steam divided by h3 minus h4 minus h2 plus h1 so this is the sixth parameter that you will have see generally ms is not mentioned in the problems so mass of steam is not mentioned so you whatever the quantities you have to measure that is based on the unit mass so ms can be considered as a one and you can calculate the all above parameters so that you have to remember so this is all about the six parameters so see if you open any any question paper from the last three four years not more than this six parameters asked so you have to remember this six parameters formula that is first task that you do so if you see that 
six parameters are there and when you want to find out all the six parameters in each and every parameter what you require to find out first h3 h4 then here h3 h4 h3 h4 h1 h2 then uh, h1 h2 h3 h4 so likewise in each and every formula you need h1 h2 h3 h4 so the main point is that before starting to solve the problem or whatever may be asked it is important to find out the all enthalpies so whenever you will see that rankine cycle problem in your question paper irrespective of whatever may be asked you have to find out the enthalpies for four point that is h1 h2 h3 h4 okay so for that purpose again there are simple four steps so you will remember that simple four steps the first step is what find out h1 so how will you find it h1 so what is h1 first so see h1 is nothing but the enthalpy at point 1 so enthalpy at point 1 so see once again it is coming that our strategy where is the point point is 1 f 2 g 3 out of that 5 where it is it is on this point on this line so that is f so you can say that it's hf okay so h1 can, can, can be calculated by hf so from where it, you will take it it can be taken from the steam table at pressure p2 okay so you can take this at pressure p2 from steam table from steam table so you are knowing that steam table how to use it so you will get it that value of h so that is step one now what is about step two step two now you have to find out step 2 in step 2 you have to find out h2 value in this you have to find out h1 in this find out h2 so how will you find the h2 so for that remember relation that we are knowing pump work is nothing but h2 minus h1 h2 minus h1 okay so see we are going for specific pump work so wp you can write h2 minus h1 so we can have h2 is nothing but h1 plus pump work okay so remember this that we we are going to calculate it for one unit mass so mass is one mass per steam is one so we i am not writing ms here directly i have written h2 minus h1 so h1 plus pump work and this can be written as h1 plus vf into vf into p2 minus p1 p2 minus p1 so what is vf vf can be taken at pressure p2 from steam table okay you have to write it you have to take it from the steam table so this is all about the values of h2 Okay, so in this case, see, remember one thing, one more thing that P2 and P1 should be taken in the kilopascal. P1 and P2 should be taken in kilopascal because H1 is in kilojoules. So this should be comes in the kilojoules only. So for that purpose, this P2 and P1 must be in the kilopascal. If you take it pascals, then you have to divide it by 100. If you, sorry, 1000. If you take it in bars, then multiply it with the 100 or convert it first in the Pascal and then kilopascal. So it must be in kilopascal that you should remember. So this is the same step second. Now let us go to the for next step. That is what? Step 3. And in step 3 what we are going to do? We are going to calculate H3 value. We are going to calculate the H3 value. So how will you calculate the H3 value? H3 value can be calculated based on that where is the point. So where is the point. So there are three possibilities again I am saying. 
that is h3 dash h3 or h3 double dash so where is that point based on that you can use the different formulas for h3 now see if h3 if the steam is dry and saturated that is given in the problem then s3 is equal to hg if it is wet steam you can write hf plus x into hfg okay that is h3 dash okay and if okay so this is for or or if that point is in the superheated region that is superheated steam then h3 double dash you can write hg plus cp of the steam into t3 minus ts t3 double dash minus ts so this will be the formula used for the point 3 and this will be depend upon where is that point 3 is lying okay so in this formula whatever the quantities you have to find out that should be at pressure p1 from steam table see this is boiler pressure not condenser pressure because point 3 is on the boiler line or high pressure line so that pressure should be taken of the boiler pressure or calculations of these properties so likewise you can calculate the h3 value in this way you will have the step 3 okay now let us go to the next point that is step 4 so in step 4 step 4 what do you have to find out you have to find out the h4 so how will you find the h4 how will you find the h4 so for h4 we are knowing that it must be in the weight region actually it should be in the weight region so for weight region we can write the formula hf is equal to x sorry hf plus x4 into hf g okay hf plus x4 hfg now in this formula hf and hfg can be taken at p2 which will be at p2 from steam table okay it can be taken from p2 from steam table but what about x4 so x4 is not known to us x4 is not known to us and it is not given in the problem so for that purpose you have to remember one very important step you can mark it as important and you have to remember that that entropy at point 3 is equal to entropy at point 4 okay so see in this case entropy at point 3 is equal to entropy at point 4 so we can use this relation entropy at point 3 is equal to entropy at sf plus x sfg that is for 3 point is equal to sf4 plus x sfg4 okay and this sf3 sfg3 can be seen from the steam table at pressure p1 while sf4 and sfg4 can be seen from the steam table at pressure p2 so this is from steam table okay so this is from steam table so likewise you will get the x4 values see you will get the x4 value so you will get the x4 value from this equation now you can put this value here you can put this value here okay you can put this value here and you will get the h4 so likewise you will get the h4 so h4 is there h3 is there h2 is there h1 is there now you can use any sort of formulae and you can find out any value so instead of going for lot of problems based on the Rankine cycle just remember these few steps and you can solve any any type of problem on the Rankine cycle so it is very easy you will get the easily seven marks so don't go to have much variety right now just have these steps and remember it you can solve the rank and cycle okay all the best for your exam